Hi guys, this is Carol. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is quite special because I get to show you guys my very first Dior bag. This is Dior's saddle pouch in the color cloud blue. I bought this bag this past July when I traveled with my husband to Italy. It was our first big trip since COVID started. So all in all, it was a very overdue trip. We had it booked, believe it or not, before COVID hit. So it's been two years in the making and it was all around amazing, amazing trip, great time. And I couldn't miss the opportunity to buy myself a luxury bag, especially because when you travel abroad, as you may or may not know, you can get a huge discount on these items because of the dollar euro conversion difference. And also in general, they price goods there differently. And long story short, I was able to save about a thousand dollars by buying this bag abroad. And I am planning on doing a separate video on that process, but in essence, that's where I bought my bag in Florence back in July and I have not worn it yet. So it still has a tag and some of the little packaging that comes with it. And I just want to show you guys what it looks like, what fits inside, how it compares to ISL's wallet on chain, which is honestly the closest bag I have to this one to really compare and show you guys and what it looks like on. As I mentioned, I saved a great deal on this bag. So I'm going to start off by sharing how much this bag costs. So in the US, this bag retails for $2,350 before tax. As I mentioned, this is the cloud blue color. So it's in a calfskin, it's smooth. It doesn't um, have any other detailing on it except the brass D here in the front. And I tried looking it up on the website right now to confirm the pricing is correct. And I couldn't find this exact color, but luckily I did take a screenshot of it while I was in Italy at the time. So I can show you guys exactly how much it cost when I bought it. Right now, they only sell this bag with the Dior pattern, the one that has a bunch of Ds all over it. So even though to my knowledge, you can't buy this exact one in the US unless they, you know, restock it or whatever the case may be, I wanted to do a video on this bag because this style, the saddle pouch is available in the other print that I mentioned and perhaps will return in this color or other patterns. And so it's a great, great crossbody bag. So all in all, I'm in love with it. Let's start with what the bag looks like on the outside. I have here the little tag that came with it. I have not removed it, I have not worn it yet. And you open it up like so. The inside is this leather and it's, I don't know how to explain the leather. It's not smooth like the calfskin on the outside. It's like this very material-like feel. And we have here the little button. I have not peeled off the sticker yet, so let's just do that. We have this insert that came inside to protect the bag. The straps are right here and some more paper. So this is what it looks like inside came with this little card here and so inside we have this big section in the middle here we have a zippered compartment on the front most side of the bag and the zipper also has still a little plastic covering on it Oop, there we go you can choose to keep the side open or closed, which is a nice little option to keep things separate. Side it's lined, but it's not the same material as out here. It's a little bit smoother. I don't know actually what it is, but that's in here. We have another section in the back, a little bit tighter, but we do have that there. And we have six card slots on the back here as well. On the sides, we have the little loops for the chain, which I'm going to show you guys next, but there's one on each side 
And so let me show you guys how to clip on the chain. As I mentioned, the chain comes in this little dust bag and it's also this brass gold color. It's not shiny like gold, but it has a bit of a vintage look and feel to it, to be honest. On the end, we have these, I guess, lobster clasps over here. The other. And there we have it. You can definitely wear this bag as a clutch or a pouch by itself, or you can attach a chain and use it as a crossbody bag. I'm gonna just go ahead and take out the tag over here. I forgot to show you guys the side. So we have here the edges, they're super smooth and actually pretty thick. And I would say it's in a black color. And this just gives you an idea of how deep it is. Moving on to what fits inside. I have some cash here, which I'm going to put on the zippered section. Cash in here. I have some cards. You can definitely keep your cash in the back here as well. My only thought is if I have some coins, I would rather keep my cash together, like coins and bills all in one section. That's why I prefer putting it in the zippered compartment, but totally up to you. I have here my oil blotting sheets. I have my contacts liquid. Sometimes my eyes get dry, my little Advil container, and I also have Dior lip glow, which is my lip balm. So that is what it looks like inside. I wanted to see if an iPhone fits. So this is an iPhone 13. It definitely fits with my oddly shaped things in there. Actually, that was my initial thought was, well, if I have, you know, my Advil bottle and things like that, it's not gonna be smooth, but it actually does not look bulky. You can't necessarily tell that it's too much, or I don't personally think it's too much in here. I would say it's a comfortable fit. I have my keys, depending on how it lands. I can already tell it's a little bit bulging. You see here, it like has a little wave. So I, in essence, moved a few things around so that I could create a little opening right here on this corner. And I put my keys there. And there's still a little bit of a wave, although it's, I would say kind of minimal, like a bump. But when I close it, I don't think it's bulky. I think it's still a comfortable fit. So at the end of the day, it's all about how you arrange things inside your bag. But I wanna say I'm, I would be comfortable putting my phone and my keys all in this one bag. Last but not least, I just have a scrunchie in here and that easily also just fits there. So all in all, it's a pretty roomy bag, even though it's quite slim. What it looks like. I wanted to compare the Dior saddle pouch with my YSL wallet on chain because personally I like seeing how products compare to other similar products and granted not all of my comparisons will always be one-to-one -one, but I just enjoy having something else next to the product I'm interested in to gauge you know size you know how it looks in general. <laughs> so this is the closest I can come to it. And side by side, I would say that, granted, the Dior saddle pouch is bigger, but depth wise, I would say it's pretty close. The length here, a little bit bigger, as we already know. And then just a top view of what it looks like. The height also, obviously this one is a little bit shorter. Definitely the Dior saddle pouch fits a lot more than the wallet on chain. I don't think I can put my phone in here along with all of my other essentials. So the Dior pouch actually allows me to do that. Another difference between the Dior saddle pouch and the YSL wallet on chain is that the chain for the YSL one is, I don't wanna say padded, but it does have a section of the chain that has leather and the Dior one does not. So the Dior chain is only chain. There's no leather accent or anything to it. So that is one difference. If you do like the wallet on chain look,
but you wish it was all chain. The next size up from this one, the chain is completely chain. However, I think when I tried it on that the chain length was a little bit short for me. So that was actually one of the main reasons why I even picked the this one. But I don't have the exact length measurements or anything like that. It's just going off of what I remember. I mentioned earlier that this is like a brass color or brass chain and how it's not shiny. YSL one over here is a lot brighter and obviously it's like a stronger gold color. And the Dior one over here is just a little bit more vintage looking, more brassy looking. Moving on to what it looks like on. This is how it looks like if you were to wear this on your shoulder with the chain as it is. This is what it looks like as a crossbody bag. And I think it sits quite comfortably on my body. I'm 5'5", five five, so I think it hits in the right places. One of my comments regarding the larger version of the wallet on chain was that even though the next size up from this has a chain as well, the chain's length is not as comfortable so I appreciate that this one is slightly longer. So they're actually, I want to say, the same length. I don't know if this is helpful. Well, that's all guys. I'm in love with this bag. I can't wait to wear it. I just haven't had an opportunity to do so yet, but I just think it's a beautiful, timeless color. I love the color blue. A lot of the things that I wear are blue. So I'm just waiting for the right occasion to take this beauty out. As always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.